I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano just came out of the shop. 1927 Howard, built in Cincinnati. This was built at the Baldwin factory, which they had, uh, they had three different brands that they manufactured at the Baldwin factory. Baldwin was one of them, Howard was one of them. And um, they, uh, they're just good, good solid pianos. I've seen, I've seen tons of them over the years and they just really, really hold up well and they go and go and go. Nonetheless, we've done a full refurbishing on it. The, the idea behind this piano is that uh, we, there, there's a lot of interest in those pianos over there, those, those, old, those old uprights that we've rebuilt that are from, eight, from this era. I, and by this era, I mean like 1890 to 1930. There were just a lot of, a lot of old uprights built, or while well, they weren't old at the time, there were a lot of uprights built at that time in, in the United States. That's when, that's when the piano really went from, from a strictly upper class privilege of the Europeans to a middle class status symbol, kind of, I guess, in the United States. That's the, the, the United States really kind of um, kicked Europe's butt, I guess we can say, in piano manufacturing. and and in, in many ways set the, set the stage for, for the modern piano industry of today. And this is a perfect example of, of one of those pianos out of the Baldwin factory in Cincinnati. So what I was saying, a lot of, we have a lot of interest for those pianos, but, but those pianos are fully rebuilt. And, and because they're fully rebuilt, they're, they're fairly expensive. All new everything, you know, new hammers, new dampers, new strings, you know, uh, everything is completely redone and it's that's a massive massive project whereas whereas this one was actually already in pretty good condition and I'll show you here in just a second and so so really doing a complete rebuild like we did on some of those others would have really been an overkill and and it needed a refurbishing for sure but but uh, not n not all new components so we went through this piano very, very thoroughly, but it's still, it's still original components. So let's have a look. The hammers are original, but they've been reshaped. The strings are original, but they're all in excellent condition. None of them have, have broken, which usually you can tell that a piano is kind of on its way out when, when you start seeing strings all over, like you've got one that's been repaired 20 years ago and one that's been repaired 10 years ago, you start to think, okay, when's the next one gonna break? But all these are original and they just, they just look good and they sound good as you'll hear in just a second. The action, same thing, everything's just in great shape. The, the trap work, which is everything having to do with the pedals, all of that is in good shape. Although the, those pedals, they're original, but we took them off and we replated them here at our plating shop. And, uh, and now they look great. That's strictly cosmetic, of course, but I think, it, I think it adds a really nice touch. There's the trap work. The soundboard down there is just in excellent condition. Not, not anything wrong with it whatsoever. Same with the bridges. Everything's just in perfect condition. So, <clears throat> so this is one of the relatively unusual pianos from this era that, that frankly just didn't need a complete rebuild like, like those. And, and it still has, after it's been refurbished, full, fully regulated and, and all of those things, lots of repinning, everything pivots on a pin, you know, things, things get uh, kind of wobbly and so we'll repin a lot of those so they have the right, the right amount of friction again. Going through all of that, now this piano has, has, a, has a long, long life left in it. So let's hear it. Ooh, that's nice really rich.
strong manufacturing the Baldwin factory of 100 years ago. if it's not obvious we also refinished it it didn't look this good when we originally got it and and by the way some, something else that I'll mention when we do a a full refurbish like this for for somebody and we and we rebuild about 100 pianos a year or or do some level of, of major work on about 100 pianos a year uh, when we when we do something like like this for somebody it, it uh, um, is, is really quite quite expensive to, to, to have that all of that work done whereas something like this where we can kind of fit it in the cracks um, when we have you know like a, a free um, a free few days here before the next project begins and a free few days there we can kind of get it all done kind of hodgepodge it, it ends up bringing the cost way down so I think I think this piano is just a, is just a great deal. I think uh, I think this piano is perfect for somebody that that, that likes antiques, that likes um, kind of maybe the, the, these pianos from 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 a bygone era, I guess you could say, but still wants an instrument that's going to function, you know, like one of these, one of these new or or like new pianos that uh, that are. Um, in virtually perfect condition, and this one is, yeah, particularly for being a 1927, virtually in perfect condition. So uh, come check it out, see what you think. I think uh, um, you'll really like it. Thanks for watching.